what I love so much about this story is that Ingrid, you you said that you were so in, like deeply in that community already. So when it came time for you to interview the president, you knew that you wanted to discuss this. And I know a lot of creators out there right now, they feel the sense of responsibility to um, just really understand their community and have a like they have this platform and they ask themselves, like, what will they do with it and what's going to be their message and impact on the world? And now, you know, YouTube and social like they these people are not just, you know, creators making content, entertaining people. They're, you know, the spokespeople of our generation. So I'm curious if you have any thoughts on like the responsibility of that. And I know that you've retired from YouTube, but any advice you could offer to people who might be listening who are experiencing that and kind of feel that weight of responsibility? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, my channel didn't ever go viral. I did have my coming out video go extremely viral. And so like, I have a taste of um, what it's like, at least for one piece of content to go extremely viral. And it is extremely overwhelming. It feels like, um, you know, you're being watched and people are just kind of waiting to see what your next move is. And the best advice that I can give is to take your time when it comes to figuring out what it is that you want to align yourself with. And, you know, a lot of people may have seen my interview with President Obama, but what they didn't see is the years beforehand Mm -hmm. where I was talking about period products and showing them in my videos. And Um, It was really a slow process because I myself had to learn. Um, And I think giving yourself the space and time to learn is the most Mm -hmm. important thing versus the pressure to just have something out there to comment uh, on everything. Yeah. Right. I think that's important. I've heard Ingrid talk about this as we've watched in the U.S. with George Floyd and all of the racial injustice, everything that's happening in the U.S. is, you know, oftentimes the most important thing to do if you have an audience is to listen. It's not to get out there and respond right away and to fill a void. And I think I think that's an important attribute that people often overlook, thinking that, oh, my gosh. And of course, the algorithms, I worked in big tech, the algorithms want you to be commenting and creating content all the time. And it actually requires a bit of rebellion uh, to take a pause, but off, often I think it, it's going to create deeper, better content. And frankly, and this is the thing we're doing with the new savant is building trust. This is the thing Ingrid did. And I worked on when I was in tech is how do you build trust with your audience? Whoever that is, you can't manufacture it. You can't skip ahead to have it. It's something that's earned over time. 